The Oregon Board of Education unanimously adopted a rule banning symbols of hatred from all school grounds. This includes the Confederate flag. Jack Hirsch spoke with a member of the state school board from Ben. To find out more, he joins us now. Jack, what do you have for us? State Representative Sherry Heltley told me that this is one of the first rules like it in the country. The Oregon Board of Education is sending a strong message. I just want all of our students um, of color and our indigenous students to know that we are behind you and we will not tolerate racism and hate. Although State Rep Sherry Helt did not vote on a new temporary rule by the Board of Education banning the Confederate flag and other symbols of hatred, she applauded the decision. Because I think it's really important that we provide a message of unity to be able to eliminate racism and hate symbols in our state and inside of our schools. Oregon Governor Kate Brown also weighed in on the school board's announcement, tweeting, every student deserves to feel safe and welcome in Oregon schools. The all students belong rule takes effect immediately and requires districts to have new policies in place for enforcement by January 1st. Those policies are being developed, says Jason Carr from Crook County School District. I think you'd see something that's very similar to the language that uh, the Board of Education released. Of course, the rule does not mean students won't still see some of these symbols in the classroom. This doesn't mean like, for example, the Confederate flag will never be mentioned in school curriculum. I mean, when you're talking about a history class, for example, in the Civil War, it's obviously going to come up. The intention is more to stop bullying. What we're really talking about is ensuring that, you know, students aren't using certain symbols as a way, you know, to, to bully other students. The rule is temporary for now, but HELP wants to take it a step further and introduce legislation in the Oregon legislator. I would like to strengthen it so that we can have more, um, more teeth behind it. Lee, the Central Oregon schools I spoke with today have not yet developed those plans, but as I mentioned, they have until January 1st. All right, thank you very much, Jack. Tonight, we're wondering if you agree with banning the symbols of hatred from all school grounds. To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage, and you can vote on previous polls there. You'll find that under the News tab.